Hello students, this is session, lesson 30, session 3, and on this one we are identifying angles. So turn to page 655 in your volume 2 math book and let's get started. Alright, the angle shown at the right is a right angle. This is something that um, you should have sh learned in third grade. Whenever you have a right angle, the corner of it makes an exact square. One way that I like to um, that I like to measure these or just evaluate if it's actually a right angle is I'll take a piece of paper or an index card, and if I can put my piece of paper index card exactly in the middle and I can still barely see the line on each side, then that tells me that it's a right angle. Look at the figure below. Name the rays that make up each of the angles listed. A right angle. So where in this shape can I put an exact square? So I, there's actually a couple of them. First of all, let's look at DE. As you can see, the E and the D, the D is completely covered, so that is not a right angle. But I can put this right here, and I can see that the angles C, B, E, you can still, like, you can barely fit it in there, and it's a right angle. On the opposite side, I can also do angle C, A, B, C, or C, B, A, and that one is a right angle, too, because it makes an exact square in the corner. So, there's actually two of them. So, name the rays that make up each of the angles listed, a right angle. So, the rays for my right angle. So I'm going to do this one. So for angle A, B, C, remember the B has to be in the middle because that's the middle, I would have rays B, A and ray B, C. Notice how both of them have B as the starting letter because that's where your ray begins and it goes out. For right angle CBE, it would be ray BE and ray BC. Number two. An angle that has a smaller opening than a right angle. Well, this is a right angle, so there's actually two of them here. We have this angle right here, because that's smaller than a right angle, or we have this angle right here, because that is also smaller. So, um, let's do, those are actually called acute angles. So let's do acute angle EBD first. Or you can also do acute angle CBD. And those can also be flipped where it would be DBE or DBC. It just, you gotta make sure you follow your finger on the angle. And number three, an angle that has a wider opening than a right angle, but does not open as wide as a straight line. So this along here would be a straight line, but we want an angle that has a bigger opening. So the only one I see here is ABD, and that's called an obtuse angle. So it would be angle ABD, or you could say DBA. Either way, it's still correct. So those are our answers there. Let's turn to page 656. Again, we have that same problem here. So it says, use shading to find the rays that make each angle. So right here, they shaded it, and you can see where they highlighted the rays for this angle, or they could also do the same thing on the other side. Compare the opening of an angle to holding a corner of a sheet of paper. So this is what I was telling you about. Um, I was using, it, you know, just an index card that I have some notes written on here. But you can use a piece of paper and see how you can barely see 
the black lines on each side of that paper. That's how you know that this is a right angle. It makes an exact square in the corner here. Now we're going to go to page 657. It says, draw a right angle, then use three points to name a right angle in the figure on the previous page. So we're going to draw a right angle, which looks just like this. And then it wants us to name the right angle from the previous page, which we actually already did on this first page right here. So we can either use angle ABC or angle CBE. So I'm going to use A. B, C. An angle that has a smaller opening than our angle is called an acute angle. Name an acute angle in the figure on the previous page and then draw one. So an acute angle is one that's smaller than 90 degrees. And we actually already named our acute angles over here. So we're going to go with angle EBD. An angle that has a wider opening than a right angle but does not open as wide as a straight line is called an obtuse angle. So name an obtuse angle in the figure from the previous page and then draw an obtuse angle. So we're going to draw our obtuse angle. And our obtuse angle was ABD. Okay. Decide how you can explain how you can decide whether an angle is acute, right, or obtuse. Well, right makes a square in the corner. Obtuse is bigger. And acute is smaller than the square. We're going to skip five, and let's go to page 658. All right, on page 658, it says, how many acute angles are in the shape below? Explain how you know. All right, so when we look at this, this is smaller than a square, this is smaller than a square, and that one is smaller than a square. So it has three acute angles. And I know that because there are no right angles. And all angles are smaller than a right angle. Okay? Number seven. Look at the shape below. How many obtuse angles are in the shape? Explain how you know. Okay, this one's acute, so I'm going to label it with A. This one's acute because it's smaller than 9 degrees. This one kind of goes out, so that one's going to be obtuse. It's bigger than 9 degrees. And that one goes out, so it's also going to be obtuse. So there are two obtuse angles because there are no right angles. I'm going to use that. Two angles are smaller than right angles. Two angles are bigger than right angles. Okay? Which angle is obtuse? Well, this one looks like it's a right angle. This one looks pretty small here. This one, even though it's kind of curved weird, it looks like it's going to be a right angle. We can check it. Yep, that one's a right angle, just barely. So that means that this one, see how wide it is? That's our obtuse angle. All right, let's go ahead and turn to page 659. Hopefully it, you feel comfortable where you could try this on your own. If you do feel comfortable, then go ahead and complete this. So you can pause this video and complete pages 659 and 700.
And then whenever you're finished, you can come back and ch check your answers. But if you don't feel comfortable, you can keep following along. But hopefully you're starting to feel comfortable where you can go ahead and try that. Okay, so how many right... Use the shape at the right to solve problems one through five. How many right angles are in the shape? Well, do any of these angles make an exact square? And the answer is no, none of them do. So that means there's zero right angles. How many acute angles are in the shape? So when I'm looking at shapes, I like to look at each angle and label them with an A or an O for acute or obtuse. So this one right here, this one looks bigger than a right angle. And you can check that too with a piece of paper. So if you put this along one line in the corner, and you see how this is wider right here, that means it's going to be an obtuse angle. So that's an obtuse angle. But then over here, if I line it up with the point and the K, notice how I can't see the other line at all. That's how I know this is an acute angle. And then down here, this one is a wide one, so it's obtuse. And this one is a little one, so it's acute. So it says, how many acute angles are in this shape? One, two. How many obtuse angles are in this shape? One, two. Name the acute angles, okay? So remember, K is where my corner is, so I have to lay, I have to keep K in the middle. So I have to f do my finger along here, and I can either do angle JKL, or that same angle would be LKJ, Or, and my other acute angle would be JML. Or if I go backwards, LMJ. Okay. Number five, name the obtuse angles in the shape. So we're going to do the same thing. MJK. or KJM, and, here's your other one, KLM, angle KLM, or MLK. Okay. Look at the shape of the sign at the right. Describe the number and kind of angles the shape has. Okay. Well, this is a pretty big shape, so that's an O. So is this one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That is, and that is. So it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight obtuse angles. Okay, let's go ahead and go down to page 700. All right, at the top here on number seven, it says draw a pentagon that is different from the one that Jasmine drew. Describe the sides and angles of your pentagon. So a pentagon is a shape that has five sides and five sides and five angles. So we have to draw a different one. So as long as it has five sides and five angles, it's still going to be a pentagon. I'm going to draw one. One, two, three, four, five. Mine's more squared on here. So if I'm going to describe this, I'm going to say... It has five sides. Um, then I'm going to say this is the same and that's so two pairs of sides have the same length.
It has five angles. There's a right angle and a right angle. So two right angles. And then, really, this has, that's looking kind of obtuse. That's obtuse. And, and three obtuse angles. Okay. In what way is Jasmine's thinking correct? So, this right here is correct because all pentagons have five sides and five angles. And what way is it not correct? Um, well, typically in a pentagon, real pentagons have sides that are the same length, all of the sides. And also, um, you, can, you can have acute angles in a pentagon too. So they can have obtuse, acute, or right angles. Number 10, our last one. Which statements correctly describe the shape below? The shape has acute angles. Well, that's an acute angle and that's an acute angle, so that's true. The shape has right angles. Ooh. I don't see any right angles, so that one's not true. The shape has obtuse angles. That's obtuse, that's obtuse, that one, and that one, so that's correct. The shape has six angles. One, two, Three, four, five, six. That's true. The shape has more acute angles than obtuse angles. Well, we've got acute, acute, obtuse, 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 obtuse. So that's not true. And that's it for session three. I will see you back for session four.